Hi guys, another day, another video. Today's video is kind of interesting because today I'm going to give you my patent pending method on how you can move from an engineering career to product management. I know a lot of you are interested in that, so come along. All right guys, before we start, quick introductions for those of you who don't know me. Hi, my name is Arushi. I have about six plus years of experience building tech products. I am a computer science engineer turned product manager. And in this channel, I talk about all things career, tech, product, and general adulting in life. So if you're someone who wants to move careers abroad, if you're someone who wants to know how to move up the ladder, if you're someone who's generally curious about life as a professional, well, comment on the section below and tell me what are you curious about. I'll definitely make a video on it if that is something I know about. So without further ado, coming back to the topic at hand, how can an engineer like myself move into the world of product management? Mind you, I know a little bit about this because I was a computer science engineer. I was doing Java, a backend developer, and I hated it. And I realized within two years, I have to move out and product was my end game. I figured it out. I uh, kind of made my way into product management four years back. And for your hands, your girl is a senior product manager leading a ad tech charter in a e-commerce company and pretty proud of herself. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so I have really written down notes, spoken to a lot of my friends who came from engineering background, moved into product management. There definitely looks like a playbook here. Okay, so the method that I have realized works for everyone who wants to move from engineering to product management is my patent pending method calling bulk. Yes, guys, bulk up. Uh, so yeah, acronyms and jokes aside, uh, the bulk method is basically about four things, B, U, L, and K, obviously. Uh, the B stands for build capabilities. So you're an engineer right now, you don't have all the capabilities that are required in a product manager. Understand what you need to build and build it. Uh, so for example, when I was an engineer, I knew how to code, but I did not know how to figure out what to code. So I spoke a lot to my product managers, tried to understand from them, how do they figure out what to build? Uh, how do you understand business? Which made me go to an MBA school because I felt there was no better way for me to understand business, but whatever, you know. A um, couple of things that I think an engineer needs to build to become a good product manager, first, user empathy. You should, you know, get out of your zone, get out of that comfort that you know best. You definitely don't know best. Uh, you haven't spoken to the customer, you just don't know best. So speak to people who are using your product, try to understand why they're using, what are their emotions when they're using it, uh, what are the needs, wants, etc. And discuss it, debate it out with someone so that you know, you've really understood it. Um, another thing that you can build is, I mean, I, I think engineers are generally good with data, they can write SQL queries and all, but just become a little business data centric. So, you know, figure out what metrics are usually tracked, uh, what are the right ones for your product, what are the values running right now, what is industry standard and so on and so forth. So get a little bit data savvy. Um, and the third thing that I can actually recommend you is become a little bit of a people's person. A product manager's job is to basically manage a lot of stakeholders and the more senior you become, the more uh, complex that thing becomes. So, you know, ability to handle people, understand their emotions, understand how to communicate the best is a very critical ability that a lot of engineers I've seen lack. I lack it too. So, you know, try to communicate more openly, more frequently, uh, public sphere, do more public speaking, just generally become a better communicator. Um, depends on where you are. So if you're already comfortable speaking in a public place, then you should become a little bit more um, better at business communication, where it's, you know, it's more about the headline first and then about the content. Or if you're someone who's you know, just not comfortable speaking publicly yet, then start in there. Uh, so these three skills I can recommend, but that's the B part of the bulk method. So after the B comes the U, which is use your network. Yes, that's what I use. Like I said, I spoke to a lot of product managers who I knew. Uh, the one thing that I did probably not that well was that I did not ask my network if I can get a product job without an MBA. But I did use my network to understand the skills that I was missing. So you can use your network to understand the skills you're not missing, how to get into product and ask them for referrals. So if there's anyone in your network who's already a product manager, is working in a company that uh, hires product managers and so on, reach out to them and ask them, can you refer me or can you tell me what skills I should build up first? Can you check my resume? How is it looking and so on and so forth? You don't know. You just can't know the amount of help that you can get. Um, I haven't done it myself, but I know a lot of people who have moved directly from engineering to product uh, management roles without MBA and they have utilized it to the T. So that's the second thing of the bulk method, use your network. Third one is leverage your skills. As an engineer, you already have a bunch of skills. 
technical capabilities a solid plus one so companies that actually are building a little bit of a technical product all of the ai companies they might like you any company that's building a technical product a b2b company might like you as a product manager so leverage your skills technical skills apart the other thing that you know the best is speaking to engineers which is i guess 60 percent of a product manager's job so you know you should call that out in your um, product interviews the third thing is you know how a sprint is managed so you know the process of building a product you know the operations of it uh, you really understand it well so leverage that part of your existing skill sets um i think these are very important ones a product manager that's not that tech savvy I mean, there are a lot of them. I mean, you can always build a tech savviness, but a product manager who's coming with a lot of tech savviness, all of my technical product managers, all of those technical roles, technical products, I would love to give it to an engineer. Uh, and I think a lot of times I do well because I come from that engineering background. It really helps me communicate, engage, and really connect with my engineers. I hope so, yeah. So that's the L part of the bulk method. And coming to the last part of it, which is the K, is know your signaling. See, you have so far been an engineer. People know you as a developer and that's it. Now, if you want to be seen as a product manager, as someone who's interested and capable of being a product manager, signal it. How do you signal it? LinkedIn is a very good place to signal stuff. You can start writing a little bit more about product, start engaging with product managers or people in the product, leaders in the product domain and start, you know, discussing with them product concepts. Yes, initially it will be, you know, uncomfortable for you initially. You might not be right. You might say something silly, but honestly, it doesn't matter. The, the point that matters is that you are going ahead and engaging. That just makes you the top 10%, I'm sure. So do that, engage with a lot of leaders, uh, put a lot of content online about product and what you think about it, what are the right things to do. And slowly and slowly you will build a voice in the world of product. That really helps because see, at the end of the day, when you're applying somewhere, 90% of the cases, the recruiter will look at your LinkedIn profile before they do the interview. Now, if you have spoken a lot about product, they are now primed to expect a product enthusiast or someone who understands about the thing. So they'll not be that harsh on you for not having a product background. Um, so that's a very good way to signal. Now on LinkedIn, not just commenting on other creators post or writing your own, you can also do some kind of a portfolio, which is basically, let's say I am an engineer and I am working with a food delivery app. Now I can build a portfolio, I can build a product use case where I'm saying that, okay, this app has a um, conversion rate of X percent. If we have to increase it by Y percent, how will I do it? Maybe you will talk about that. These are the users. I know that this set of the users are not doing that well. So I will do this feature to make sure that these users convert better. That's one example, but there are hundreds of examples of how you can do a portfolio. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, basically go a little bit further ahead from just basic commenting and basic posting, but do something really valuable, which really sticks um, to do your signaling. Another thing apart from the social media aspect of it is uh, getting a degree, doing a course. So I've done a video before on what courses you can do and I've linked that above. Uh, but MBA is a, is a pretty neat thing. There are a lot of, you know, MBAs focused on product management these days, especially in the United States. In India as well, I'm indoor is giving one, ISB is giving the, uh, one. So you can probably, you know, get these MBAs or get a general MBA, I mean, you know, MBA was fun, I liked mine. So, you know, you can get an MBA or you can get a course, um, get some kind to get some kind of signaling out that you've given your hours, you've done the hard work of showing that you are interested, you are interested in the game. Uh, what this will do is it will not get you a shortlist for sure. But again, if it is on your LinkedIn, and like I said, 90% of the people will check your LinkedIn before the interview, it will show, it will just prime them, they, they will just, you know, like you a little bit better. So again, the signaling part is super, super, super duper critical. So guys, that is my bulk method, repeating it, build your skills, use your network, leverage your existing skills, and know your signaling. So with that, I come to an end of my video. I hope you liked it. So if you're an engineer who wants to move into product management, tell me if this will work for you or why this will not work for you in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Ta-da!